Hey everybody, uh, welcome again to another great episode of Josh Around Milwaukee. We've got a special guest for you today. It's Josh Albrecht! Yeah, I'm here! Josh Albrecht, thank you so much. Uh, in all uh, sincerity, actually our special guest is the one and only Bobby Portis Jr. from the, the Milwaukee Bucks. Bobby, 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 Bobby. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, Josh's having some fun. Cause two Josh's are better than one. What is it like when the crowd, the entire, and I'm part of that crowd, by the yeah, way, yeah, yeah. yelling, yelling out your name? What is that like when the entire Pfizer Forum shouting your name? You guys are on a roll, you know? Like, what's that? What's that feeling? Man, it's great, man, because it just comes out of nowhere sometimes, and like pivotal moments of the game sometimes. So, um, it's definitely one of those things that I don't take lightly or take for granted. Um, you know, obviously, um, players go through their whole careers and might not get that type of experience or love from a fan base so yeah. definitely cool to experience and I think it's even better to have family and friends that's in the crowd you know right there with me experiencing it with me yeah yeah because I'm sure the family and friends like when your mom hears that like, yeah. she's just like that's different man that's the whole next level thing sure. right? absolutely man and then just all the hard work and dedication and sacrifice that you put into the game um, and obviously Basketball is a, a year-round thing. You, know, you got to stay in shape, got to stay ready, you got to get better yeah. each and every year. So um, to put the work in and then for it to come back to you um, in that type of way, um, that's that's what's up. Yeah, that energy has to like just give you going to the next gear. Even if you're like it's the fourth quarter, yeah. you're tired, like you're beat up, like but as soon as you hear it. It's almost like a, a professional wrestler, yeah. right? Like you see him like starting to get... Yeah, you got to hulk up. You got to you gotta get hyped. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Bobby, I want to talk to you about just how cool it is that the city um, just embraced you and, and the energy that you bring because, you know, it's one thing to just be a talented basketball player, which obviously you are, but, you know, this team, the championship team, they had a bunch of those. Yeah. It was what made you special that, you know, th that energy and the emotion that you show when you play that... Milwaukee really latched onto. Yeah. What did that mean to you to be like, man, this city, they really get me. They get me. Yeah, man, it just means a lot, man, because, you know, I, I wear my heart on my sleeve, man. I come to play each and every day. I try to play every game. I try to be available. One of the biggest things as a pro um, is being available for your team. As I think I'm available each and every game, go out there and give them my all 110%. So um, playing for the name on the front of the jersey, not on the back. So go out there giving my all and it's kind of cool to have people in the crowd and people that's on, on, online or at home watching that, you know, really embrace that. Um, you know, I think I play how a normal fan would play if they get out there and play. They'll go as hard as they can. So um, I think that's the, that's the love affair right there. I absolutely love it. Now, uh, you know, so you had the opportunity after the championship to, um, you know, potentially go somewhere else. You, you didn't have to necessarily stay here, and you decided, no, I'm staying in Milwaukee. Can you tell us what it was about, you know, the fan base, the team, and Milwaukee that made you say, no, I'm not, I'm not done here yet? Yeah, uh, I'll start with the fans first. Obviously, the fans are, are great, man. Best fan base that I've been a part of in my career. Um, obviously, they embrace you. They embrace all the guys on the team. You know, obviously, it's a smaller market, so all the guys on the team get hella love from all the guys that's around that's around the city. Um, it's not just a, uh, if you're a superstar, if you're a star, then, you know, they show those guys love. Um, and then, um, secondly, just the, the culture that's been created here um, made me real comfortable and, you know, real, um, I can be myself each and every day. I um, knew I had a certain role that I can attack on a, on a daily basis, which is coming off the bench, providing energy, providing scoring, um, rebounding the high level things that I'd love to do anyways and um, everything just makes sense so um, and prior to coming here I've had three stops at Chicago was there four years then got traded to Washington for a couple months to sign with the Knicks and didn't really want to move teams again found the place found teammates that I really liked a lot 
um, found out, you know, guys I can hang out off the court and hang out with. So everything just made sense for me. So you said hang out with the guys off the court. Yeah. Let's talk about when you hang out in Milwaukee. Yep. You know, so obviously we josh around in Milwaukee, but yeah, yeah, when yeah. you're when you're not on the court and you're just hanging out in Milwaukee, what are what are your spots? What do you like to do? Um, you know, obviously I'm a big time card player, man. Me and my teammates, we play cards all the time, spades. Um, we have a, we have another game called Boo Ray. You have to, you know, break that down to the guys that probably don't know what that <laughs> is. But um, you know, we play those games a lot. So I like to hang out, watch 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 TV. Um, obviously, watch all the sports games that's on. Um, you know, obviously with the NFL starting back up, um, me and my teammates watch that a lot and things like that. Um, so it's, it's it's been fun though just to be here the last three years. Going on my fourth year now, and time is flying. And, you've, and I know you've you've taken advantage of a lot of of the cool Milwaukee things. You've been to Summerfest. You've you've gone to some of the great restaurants. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you've thankfully with yep. Visit Milwaukee, we've been able to be yeah. our hype man yeah, and yeah, take yeah, you yeah, around yeah. the community. Uh, like we're in the Bobblehead Museum today, uh, just exploring the city together, and that's been a, an amazing thing. Is is there one or two things though that you, that you always want to show somebody when they come in from out of town, where you're like, my, oh man, we got We got to get to this place because mm -hmm. it's it's the it's the spot. Um, yeah, man. Um, you know, obviously, man. I love, you know, showing guys the downtown area. Obviously, um, you know, we um, are, are growing and expanding. When I first got here, you know, obviously we didn't have as many, you know, real estate things that's that's, yeah. that's in place. And I've seen the city kind of grow since 2020. Um, it's, it's growing and it's, it's, it's expanding. We have new hotel downtown. We have a lot of new. Yeah. Um, apartment complexes and condos that's being built around. So it's kind of cool to show guys like, hey, like when I first got here, this one here, but now look at all these new places that's being built. Yeah, yeah. that's first and foremost. That's that's the that's the, the yeah. Bucks magic, right? You yeah. guys win a championship. Next thing we know, this is exploding. Yeah, more people want to come. More people want to be yeah, a part. Sure. Of it. You think that Milwaukee's on the map, and then you guys won the championship. And then it was really on the map, yeah, you know, sure. it just it keeps expanding, expanding. and growing. Yeah, man, yeah, that was crazy, too, just to see. And then secondly, man, just all the great food spots we have here, man, I think it's kind of um, it's kind of, you know, underappreciated, you know, food, food city as well. We have a lot of different hot spots that you can go to and get great food and great hospitality for, you know, guys that's, um, you know, that's from here and live here. Yeah. Cool. Well, thank you for taking a few minutes with us today to, to talk a little joshing around, to get us hyped for the new season. Yeah. Uh, speaking of the new season, yeah. some big news breaking. <laughs> you got a new teammate coming. What does that mean for, uh, for, for your outlook on this yeah. year with, with Dame come to town? Um, well, no, obviously, uh, you, know, you know, Drew, that's my brother. I uh, won the championship with Drew um, in 2021. Our names are forever uh, Absolutely. You know, together. Um, here in this city, here in, in basketball history, when you look up 2021 yeah. champions, uh, you'll always see all our names together. Um, so obviously the, the business side is always tough in basketball, but um, gaining Damian Lillard, arguably a top 10 NBA player, um, it's yeah. kind of hard not to you know like as well. But at the same time, man, you got to take it a day at a time. Uh, I know guys online booking us as the title favorites, whatever it is, that don't matter. <laughs> uh, you got to go out there and win. Got to go out there and build your chemistry and camaraderie on the court and off the court. And, uh, you know, it always comes down to the healthiest team at the end of the day. Um, yeah. Last couple of years, our team wasn't healthy. Obviously, we had Brooke um, with the back injury throughout the whole uh, my, my second year here. Then Chris got hurt with his knee in the playoffs the same year. Then Giannis back last year. So I think the healthiest team is the team that kind of wins the championship each and every year. And, that's always been one of our calling cards, just, just trying to stay healthy. So true. I think there's only Very one true. thing, only really one thing left to say, Bucks and Six. Bucks and Six. Absolutely. Bucks and Six. I love it. All right, Josh, this has been fun. Let's go get some food, Bobby. Come on, this should be fun. Yeah, this is good. We drove here together. We'll see you later. We'll see. Come on, Bobby.